This clip presents how to work with 3D cut planes in various project views. Let's start by adding new 3D cut planes in the floor plan view with the help of the cut plane handles. Once we're done, we can right click any of the cut planes and activate the reverse cutting plane direction command from the context menu. This will change the orientation of the 3D cutaway. Please note how the floor plan representation has changed as well. Let's reverse the cutting plane direction once again. Let's open the 3D view. Please notice the effect of the previously created cutting planes on the 3D display of the project. The cutting plane direction can be reversed in 3D as well as using the context menu. The display of the cutting planes can also be adjusted. The cut planes can be shown or hid using the show and hide option of the 3D cutaway in the standard toolbar. By hiding the cutting planes, the floor plan representation of the project also changes. The cut planes can be shown or hid using the show and hide option of the 3D cutaway in the standard toolbar. Any of the cutting planes can be deleted by right-clicking the plane and activating the Delete Cutting Plane command from the context menu. Let's undo the last step. Cutting planes can also be deleted using the trash bin icons along the four sides of the floor plan view. Simply click this icon while repositioning the cutting plane and it will be instantly deleted. All cutting planes can also be deleted in one step by clicking the 3D cutaway button in the standard toolbar and activating the Delete All Cutting Planes command from the drop-down list.